Hey, girl. Well, the internet friends. Pulled in an Amarillo, put some more fuel on. Was at about 12.1 miles to the gallon. Got back on the freeway. Went 10 to 10.4. Uh, that is rough. And I can see why all these uh, wind generators out here are just uh, spinning out here. That how just like a live, live out here. It's just blows. It just blows, blows. I've got a headwind. You can feel it. With this rooftop tent up there, it's just. It is just.
can tell the tension in the air, it's thick. It is thick. It's like everybody already knows something's going to happen. And they're looking around everywhere you go, no matter what. I hate this freaking thing. It always goes off. And it's like, I don't know why it's going off all the time. Turn the damn thing off, man. Jesus. Garmin 65. It's noisy. i got to adjust it. But you can just see it, you know? You can see how the way people drive. You go to the store. I don't go to the stores. I should have got some coffee back there because I want to make at least another 300 miles. I've done several hundred already. I want to get at least halfway there. So I need to do at least seven or 800 miles today to get down the road. I'm an old trucker. Once I start going, I can freaking go. Um, what do you guys think? Do you see it? I could imagine living in California. There'd be no way in hell. Dallas, Texas, or any of these big metropolitan cities, man. There ain't no way. Albuquerque's bad enough. But I've lived, lived there long enough. I get a good feel for the, what's going on. I'm kind of on the outskirts. I am. I just think it's best just, just to get away, man. Just to get away. If you can get away, even if it's an acre, do get solar move a fifth wheel or camp trailer out there and do your thing you grow your own food and start growing it <coughs> get it ready because you know the food that you get now you still grow in the spring you're not going to get it till later later in the summer and then you plant again depending on what you're growing I've got, uh, I started growing, where did I plant? Okay, so I got cucumbers growing. Um, I have five tomato plants, not very much. They have these little white butterflies. They look like little white butterflies. And these things will fly around and they will wipe out your crop. I don't know what they are. I'm gonna take a shotgun to them while they're running around swatting at them with my hat because I know they're eating this stuff. There's a lot of Amazon Prime fans headed westbound. Probably got my product on it. <laughs> Pretty funny. Um, so, uh, what are the other damn things I got on there? A lot of cucumbers. Um, kind of tired. Sorry, guys. Um, I'm just growing all kinds of stuff this year. Watermelon watermelon, sweet watermelon, uh, a lot of beets. Uh, I don't like growing okra. I'm not good at it. I, I always let it grow too long and then you try to cook it. It's like eating bark. It's terrible. There are those other things I was trying to think about. They're growing really good. I got a lot of uh, peppers growing, chili growing. They're doing really good. Cauliflower, I keep waiting for my cauliflower to come out. Turn into something. Start growing food. Get out of this damn headwind, it's killing my gas. He's 10.5. I'm doing 67 miles an hour. It's freaking killing me. Unbelievable. Almost to the point where you just pull over and just park it wind stops, but I don't think it ever stops out here because there's so many wind generators out here. I mean, there's there's hundreds, if not thousands of them out here. Imagine what those things are doing to the birds and the eagles and the, the owls. It's unbelievable. Well, I wanted to put a CB radio in here. I used to be an operator up or upper lower side, side map. We used to have a tram D, D201 with a Moonraker antenna. And man, we had extra channels put in that thing. It would slide from one frequency. To, I mean, you could just go on forever. I sure miss those old days. I was looking uh, online last night for the Galaxy 959. Seemed like a little good, good one. Striker looked good too, but I don't know, man. I just don't like the light.
lights on that thing. I like to look at a, an actual meter and <clears throat> see what's going on. I almost bought that, uh, as a matter of fact, I think it's still in uh, the shop basket, of course. I won't tell you it's through, but. Then I was looking at the Texas Star uh, Linear Boosters. I was thinking about that. I'm going to speed it up. That. I was trying to figure out how I, I want to put it on my truck because we used to have the 102 inch whips but this truck's so high the only way I can think about putting it is up on the rack of the roof up there with the uh, rooftop tent which are already up five feet off the ground I mean add another 102 inches up there you're gonna be slapping the overpasses I uh, seen about a K40. I don't know much about K40s. You find a good antenna. Because I know at some point in time the phones are going, man. They are, I'm going to get rid of mine. I am sick of these things. Now they got that, that contact tracing app in there. You know, I didn't ask them to put that thing in there. I don't even want it in there. No, they still put it in there. Pay these phones off and shut them down and be done with it. Just run CD radios and ham radios. I got a ham radio back there. Always oh, keeping in my uh, backpack. The stove and food. I always carry extra food with me. Stove, make fire. A lot of knives. Knife guy. I did order me uh, back in uh, what was it April? April 23rd, April 30th, I ordered some uh, armor, bulletproof armor, vest from uh, Spartan. No, they don't pay me, I don't get paid or not. I don't, I don't even care. But uh, it took, they finally arrived yesterday. I asked them a couple of times to give me my, my money back because it was, I mean, it's April. I was like, God, man, what's doing? Finally, they arrived yesterday. I put it all together and put it on. Good Lord, my fat and old. That little old. Those things are heavy. I mean, you put on those uh, steel plates, they got to be half inch, three quarters of an inch thick. You put those things on, and you put four clips on, magazines, whatever you want. You know, 120 rounds. Whew. A little rough. I didn't bring it with me. I probably should have. You never know what's going I didn't do it. I hate crossing state lines with any kind of firearm or anything like that. You have to look at each one, look at each state, do do what they want according. I always follow the law on that. Should not be in French though. So see, there's a, uh, you know. And this thing about wearing masks, you guys, they can sit there and say, well, the governor said we have to wear a mask. Police gonna ticket you, ticket you for what? For an edict? It's not law. You know, that's why I gotta get out of the freaking city and get away from these people. There's two of them are just sheeple, they just follow whatever. You can tell that they just they just drink the Kool-Aid and they go along with whatever. That's what happened with the government, man. People got too used to help me, help me, instead of men putting on their boots, pulling up their freaking pants and going to work and taking care of it the law of the land you don't hurt people you don't attack people you don't steal from people and you don't kill people murder no murdering you know if somebody breaks in your door you got to do what you you got to do man that's you know like i said in my other video anybody can cross my family or anything like that that's just I'll protect my family. I love my wife. I love my kid. I got a good boy too. He's a hard worker. <laughs> Pretty funny when they turn teenager. Man, they really get. <laughs> well, I remember too. Even my son's worst day is a lot better than my one. Boy, I was abandoned. I don't know how many vehicles I rolled or endowed, shot twice. I mean, just, just never penetrated though. I mean, it's uh, I never got hurt. 
Never broke a bone in my body, man. I've had some wrecks. Riding horses, man. I've had some wrecks. Never, never broke anything.